Hello YouTube, Blogging Eric Rants here and today I am going to be ranting about the corruption scandal enveloping the World Soccer Authority, FIFA. So on Wednesday, policemen in plain clothes entered a five star hotel where the annual meeting of FIFA officials were held. The officers got room numbers from the front desk and arrested six executives, all of whom have been indicted on charges of racketeering, wire fraud and money laundering, with FIFA deals related mainly to bribes and kickbacks to the tune of $150 million that date back to 1991, nearly 25 years ago. Not only that, but the elections that are happening just before this video is scheduled to be going up could lead to some terrible results if Bladder is re-elected, which has possibly already happened by the time this video has gone up. This includes Europe boycotting FIFA, which, depending on how far that could go, could end FIFA as we know it. That would truly be a terrible shame, but with this level of corruption in FIFA, it might be a chance to restart the whole thing. Honestly, I am not surprised at the corruption within FIFA. After all, money and greed make the world go round and corrupt everything. Just look around, there is probably a level of corruption in everything. The world runs on money and greed, which would easily lead to corruption. Now honestly, I thought there was something that wasn't right all the way back in 2007 when Qatar was announced to be holding the World Cup. Let's just be clear here. I didn't even know that Qatar even existed until the country was announced to be the country that would host the 2022 Soccer World Cup. In addition, the Swiss officials of the Attorney General have opened a parallel investigation concerning the 2018 and 2022 bidding processes. There are nine people who have been indicted for racketeering, conspiracy and corruption. This includes Jeffrey Webb, who is the Vice President of FIFA, Jack Warner, who has already had many brushes with controversy, Rafael Equival, the Brazilian Football Confederation President for three years, Jose Maria Marin, who has already been involved with controversy, Nicolas Leoz, who has already been accused of taking bribes, Eduardo Lee, who is the President of the Costa Rican Football Federation, Julio Roca, who was the president of the Nicaraguan Football Federation for more than two decades, and Costas Takas, who was the former general secretary of the Cayman Islands Football Association. Presidents and vice presidents of FIFA and several football federation members have been arrested. This is insane! But as I said, it was not surprising, especially looking at the quote from John. Dalberg Acton, First Baron Acton. Power tends to corrupt, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Great men are almost always bad men. How has this corruption in FIFA been allowed to fester more than two decades? That's something I'd like to know. Money and greed, probably, is what it is, but there seems to be an air of a bit of a cover up. But money and greed again, major thing that leaves the door open to corruption. I will notice this though, I have noticed something. Every time somebody in a company does something wrong or where there's a major scandal involving a particular company, every single time the head is pressured to resign. The head of that company. And it's no different here with FIFA. In addition, the whole of FIFA has been dragged through the mud and the mud is sticking. FIFA has been, quote, shamed and humiliated, as the president said, but I do believe that he will likely be kicked out. I don't think it's going to be straight away, but at some point in the near future, Black is gone. So, this is also going to require a serious clean out of officials as well. Now, I'm also not surprised by how high up this corruption and scandal has gone. Many top officials accepting bribes and kickbacks? No, I expected it would get up pretty far. There's shady shit going on everywhere. In the NBA, AFL, NASCAR. Hell, there's probably some questionable stuff going on in the V8 supercars in Australia. I mean, after all, Scott McLaughlin has four last place finishes after just four rounds of the championship in 2015. Which, by the way, I don't think has ever happened in the history of the V8 supercars. Am I surprised about this corruption scandal enveloping FIFA? Or how far this has gone? Nah. What do you guys think? 
Leave a comment in the comment section below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Share it around and if you like my content, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day everyone. Cutter. Cutter, 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 cutter.